Ah, uh, it's just it's, it's what it is. They're still. Do you know what? They are still a few couples together. People are married. People are babies off that show. So I know there's this whole thing like it's a Love Island curse, but I just think it is what it is. It's one year on from Love Island Series 3, so are any of them still together? And where are they all now? Gabby and Marcel might have looked rock solid, but things have come crashing down after he cheated on her on holiday in Mexico. Ironically, the one-time love doctor turned love rat cashed in by writing a book of love advice. And Dr Marcel even got himself a gig as a love guru on the next Celebs Go Dating, but has since been sacked. Now social media is getting people was like, I hate you. And it was like, they used to love me, now they hate me, but... Things are going from strength to strength for PT Gabs, from flogging hair pills to launching an app currently listed as number 10 on Apple's health and fitness chart. Golden couple Jamie and Camilla haven't let their halo slip since riding off into the sunset together after their very dodgy reenactment of that scene from La La Land. The pair are still together and have ramped up the charity work. Look, there they are at the House of Commons and taking pictures at a refugee camp. Interestingly, at odds with his Love Island alter ego, Jamie recently did an investigation with BBC Radio 5 Live asking if too many of us are pretending to be perfect on social media. It's really bizarre, but it's been great fun and I'm uh, just sort of riding the wave and taking it all as it comes. Montana and Alex's relationship was practically over before it begun and they're both now dating another genetically blessed person. Alex seems to spend most of his time honing his bod and just generally being full of charisma like this. Yeah. Personally, at the minute, I'm doing like back to back personal appearances in different clubs and so on, but uh, I'm doing bits of modeling in the daytime and that on the nighttime, and then investing the money in sort of businesses and property things like that. Yeah. Predictably, Montana's gone on to the bona fide celeb status she was seeking an MTV presenter, pretty little thing, ambassador, her own words. She's done magazine covers, a music video, and promoted hair tablets aplenty. But the final jewel in her crown would be to snare Caroline Flack's job, as she revealed when she let her Machiavellian plan slip. Um, so I'm more interested in like presenting. Um, that's what I kind of want to get into, entertainment presenting. Like I'd love to actually one day present Love Island. Like That would be the dream for me. Explosive arguments were the very core of Chris and Olivia's relationship, so it was no wonder they appeared in an ITV spin-off called Cracking On, which saw them move into a big house together, have a massive row, and inevitably split up. Olivia has also joined the reality star ranks of In The Style and, of course, selling the odd hair pill. While Chris the Boy Wonder is still perfection, he's since got more highlights and no doubt has more in store for us with those piercing baby blues. The only other couple to have survived so far are Dom and Jess, but they're not out of the showman's woods yet. They treated us to this tasteful display when they got married live on Good Morning Britain. In the presence of TV's Richard Arnold, oh. I make this vow. I now pronounce <laughs> you the first couple from Love Island to get married and make this the bride. <laughs> on the lips! Congratulations! <laughs> so you can expect more Hello covers and probably even Love Island offspring being brandished by them soon. There's been several islanders who may have slipped off your radar, but not for lack of trying. Here's to them. Like, it's flown by. The amount of stuff that happens when you come out, it just literally... I've had so many opportunities come through, like I'm on IB for Weekender, um, and then I'm doing loads of other bits now. I'm bringing out my own clothing range now. So, do you know what? It's been amazing. I can't... Truthfully, I want to make as much money as possible. I've been back nearly three weeks and I've took over 500 pictures, so it's been crazy. Elsewhere, Georgia and Sam are still knocking around. Sam since hooked up with his Geordie Shore castmate Chloe Ferry and the pair went full power couple mode, littering social media with snaps and coming out with stuff like this. This kind of love with him is too much. It's like hard. I wish she tells I me it hurts. It hurts so much. It hurts. I don't know what that means, but I think it's cute. <laughs> while well, George has got a motel clothing range in the bag and has even gone rogue, promoting weight loss gummies, no hair pills in sight. And she says she still mates with all the gals. Mon, Liv, Amber, Gabby, they're literally like my closest friends. I see them all the time. I FaceTime Mon like pretty much twice a day. A real breakout star was Muggy Mike, who despite only spending six days in the villa, went on to appear on Celebs Go Dating and has reached dizzying new heights, hooking up with Towie's Megan McKenna, making them reality TV's own sort of posh and Bex. Are you still dating Megan McKenna? Out. Oh. Um, well, we did go on a date. Obviously, that's uh, that came out Valentine's Day. That was that was our first date. 
Finally, the winners, Kem and Amber, or Kemba, stole the nation's hearts, but only managed to stay together for a few months. We didn't realise how much it changed our lives until we left. Yeah. It's just been amazing, Aww. but it's just been so, so well, busy. Well, it's so busy. Amber landed herself deals with a lingerie chain and clothing boutique and has since founded a dance-based fitness programme. She spends her time going out-out with her bestie from the show, Olivia. As for Kem, he's been spitting bars with varying degrees of success. Let's get this started <laughs> with some lyrical bacon. I hate muggy, I hate the web. You heard I'm cool, the rumours are right. If you ain't learning, I'm a student alive. Oh my God, I've lost my own. <laughs> Kem starred alongside Chris in a spin-off called Straight Outta Love Island, which saw them release the tune Little Bit Leave It. The show raked in almost half a million viewers and it's rumoured the pair are set for another season, making theirs the one true love story of the show.